Guys, I'm so excited for this video. I can't literally, I just feel like I should just start the video like this because it just needs to be. We don't need the standard. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally going to be reviewing Fenty Beauty for you guys. I feel like I'm talking with because my face is so dry. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell from the vlog that I posted yesterday, I went to Harvey Nichols in London. I got them my little bag here. Harvey Nichols. Queued for an hour and 10 minutes to get this stuff a week after. Over a week after the launch which is crazy that is crazy but anyways i thought it would die down by now but it clearly hasn't um if you guys want to see that vlog i'll link it in the info box but today i'm really going to be trying the products and wearing it all day and seeing if it lasts well on skin and if it's good for my skin type i have very dry skin by the way i didn't want to get everything because obviously i'm a student so I need to be quite tight on my spending, but I did spend £97 on four things, which is obviously quite a lot. But I thought, do you know, after watching all these reviews, it just got me going, like I just need to buy the stuff. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the Pro Filter Primer. Okay, so I wasn't too sure if I wanted this product, because for me, primers, um, I just felt like it would be very silicone-y, very drying mattifying and i do know this mattifies but i just feel like it will just dry my skin out even more so it does say soft matte on the back on the lid of the primer but um i went in and i was like to be honest i just want to feel that primer i'm not too sure but i just want to give it a feel literally she put it on my hand on my hand and i was like okay i, I, I want it i did ask her would it be okay for dry skin she said i have dry skin and it works perfect for me so i was just like you sold me on this i'll take it boo boo put it in the bath for me i don't know i just feel like the excitement has gotten me really hyped up right now <laughs> um so i apologize if that's annoying to you but i literally don't care like i've been waiting a week to do this been itching me the staff at the per counter are so nice they're so nice i really enjoyed the experience which shows i always use in my foundation reviews well most of the time it's the bobby brown extra pair cream i'm just gonna wear this because it's very hydrating it's the one i wear all the time this is what the primer looks like. It comes in a soft matte bottle and you get 32ml in here, which is good. It's £24, so not bad for a primer. When I, when I put this on my hand, it just feels like a moisturiser. And it kind of like dries down, but it gives like a nice subtle, like subtle glow. Like that feels so nice on my skin. I'm really going to... So see if it makes a difference with smile lines, separation, I'm just going to put a bit more here. It doesn't feel drying at all. Can you see? I mean it has mixed with my very hydrating moisturiser but I'm liking it so far. My skin feels very soft. But I'm surprised, it's not like those really drying silicone-y primers which I'm really happy about. So we'll leave this now, so far I'm really happy with it but we'll see tonight by the end of the day if it's made a difference or not right now into the exciting part the foundation my excitement is so real right now okay so i've got the foundation the foundation is 26 pounds and you get 32 mil so it's a bit cheaper than your average foundation and you get a bit more than your average foundation an average foundation is normally 30 pounds around 30 pounds for 30 mil so it's kind of good i think and the shade i have is 330 now this is do you know I feel like I've become an experienced shade matcher from afar <laughs> because basically I can colour match myself mo like I would say 90% of the time I get my colour without swatching it when I first saw the range the whole range when it came out I initially said 330 and I got the shade 330 but then I was watching reviews and I was like oh my god 330 is quite light like it's quite light, I don't know if this is my colour, then I thought it was 350, then I thought it was 360 or 370, I was even considering 400, which is way too dark. So what I did is, when I went in store, she tried five shades on me, she's, she's tried 330, 350, 360 and 370. Now 370 was way too dark, 360 was, 370 looked good when it went on, but it went way too dark, then 360 was a bit too warm i don't know i could see it then for between 330 330 looked very warm and 350 looked more neutrally and then after i put 330 and a big 350 and when i compared those two i went in natural daylight with the mirror 
it kind of the 330 matched me the best I do have to say they oxidize so please take that into consideration it does look a bit lighter on the pictures on the website in my opinion just a tad bit lighter because they do oxidize so I just kept them on for a minute and then I went and looked I tried other bits so I would definitely recommend that if you're going to go in store leave it on for like a minute and then go see it so yeah I got the shade 330 and also I want to say thank you Rihanna for doing 40 shades and do you know what I asked the guy there and I was like did your all your darker shades like dark dark shades did they go out of stock he was like yeah they went out of stock like worldwide and I was like this just comes to show that there's a huge gap in the market for makeup or like foundation and concealer for darker deep 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 skin tones like people don't get it I struggle sometimes to find my shade in some, for some brands and I can't even imagine how it must be for like even deeper, deeper skin tones. I feel like most brands don't even have those shades available. And the fact that Rihanna's come through with 40 shades, I feel like that's why there's so much hype around the brand. People who don't even know Rihanna are probably seeing Fenty everywhere and be like, 40 shades, I need to go see and queue up four hours to go get it. Even though they don't know her or they don't know about Fenty Beauty or the hype, they just want to go see it because there's 40 shades. There's a shade for everyone. So I hope that's a big lesson for other brands out there that there's a huge gap in the market for people of colour. Just feel like there needs to be more diversity in brands. There's amazing brands out there, don't get me wrong with darker shades, but I feel like for launch, Rihanna came through. Anyways, let me stop talking about that. I'm really happy. I'm really happy about the 40 shades. You guys know I'm always ranting about how brands don't have colours for me, yet alone for deeper skin tones. So anyways, let me just put this. It says it's a soft matte long wear foundation. Now, I really don't like matte foundations myself. Do you know what? The, the primer has a soft tacky feel. I kind of like it. Anyways, um, I don't really like matte foundations. I really like a dewy finish, but so many people have been raving about it and I just want to try it. It does say on the box to shake it well so I'm going to shake it well and I'm going to use a brush I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush to buff in I'm not going to use a sponge and it's quite a liquidy foundation look isn't that a good match for me but bear in mind it does get a tad tad bit lighter so that's what it looks like I'm going to let that dry and then I'll show you I'm just going to dot it it is this one this color is very warm i've heard that you need to work quite quick with it so let me just go a bit quicker do you know i couldn't find someone with 330 i looked online i need to check again i might be wrong but i couldn't find someone with the shade 330 the foundation smells sweet that's what i could smell when i'm when she was putting it on me it looks good so far but I'm seeing a little bit of dryness I'm kind of like tapping slash swiping mixture of the two rather than like buffing in more tapping motions No ashiness, even application. I mean, it's not dark, it's just really warm, like almost orangey. But I feel like once I put concealer, it will balance out. I mean, it's not that big of a difference. The places I get most dry is on my nose and my forehead. The shade kind of reminds me of my Makeup Forever colour, so it's not that big of a deal if it's quite warm. That's first when you put it on and that's what it comes like when it dries it gets a bit more darker just a little bit my initial thoughts on the foundation is that it's very even a very flawless application full coverage i'm getting full coverage because it's kind of like covered all my pigmentation i get these like really weird round hypo pigmentation it's so weird um but it's kind of covered that as well like you don't see it as much um, it's kind of covered the pigmentation here a little bit but overall it looks flawless the only thing is when I look up close it's getting slightly dry here here on my nose 
I'm going to move on to the next thing and I got the match stick and this is the matte one just to highlight underneath uh, I got the shade wheat now I was I was kind of hesitating between wheat and caramel wheat looked a bit more yellow and nice for highlighting whilst caramel was a bit peachy this is what the foundation looks like by the way I forgot to show you guys this is what the matchstick looks like the packaging is really really nice very sturdy these are mag magnetics this is what wheat looks like isn't that like a really nice highlight shade that's what wheat looks like when I first try it on its own They said that you don't need to set this with powder. Do you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use this. Please ignore the fact that my sponge is hideous. Hideously dirty. Hard for me to get right in that corner. That's looking quite good and it actually blends seamlessly. So that's with the matchstick in wheat and that's without. I'm liking it. The reason why I didn't get any of the contour sticks or the brushes, I'm really the type of person that stays away, with, stays away from things like that. But I've been seeing a lot of people use this as concealer and I really like it. Like, it's definitely like much more creamier than your average stick kind of makeup thing. And it blends like a dream. And also, I didn't get contour sticks because I don't cream contour. I just felt like I wanted to get things I know I'm going to use a lot. And it just blends so nice. I'm very impressed by that. So I'm just going to take a, a tad bit of my Ben Nye Banana Powder and just set that very lightly. So because I didn't get any of like the contour sticks, I'm just going to bronze my face. Right, so that's my makeup done, guys. I just feel like my skin looks really, really flawless. I really do. Like, it's there's something different, like softer. There are some bits that are drying and... I'm, I'm actually digging the colour of this. I mean, it can be a bit light, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, anyways, now onto the final product that I got is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And I feel like her names are really nice. She did show me two. So she showed me the one that's kind of like a reddish colour. But that comes out really gold. You think it's red, but it comes out very gold on the hand. Um, it would be perfect for my skin tone or darker. But the only thing is the other colour that was with it was too cool tone and I knew I wasn't going to use it. So in the end I got the one that is called Me Money and Hustler Baby. And this is a bit light but I feel like it's similar to my other highlighter shades. So I think I can get away with it. So this is the packaging of the highlighter. This is £26. This is what the shades look like. Just absolutely stunning. I was really hesitating between this one and the reddish one. But I went with this one in the end. It's one that is very subtle for every day. Which I will try for you guys. And it almost feels like a putty. Almost. And then you've got your intense beaming highlight. Which is this one right there. So that's stunning this is your more natural one this is this is the concealer that we use and that's your beaming highlight i'm gonna first use the light but the softer color it's definitely more of like your everyday glow and it's coming out much more gold than i thought which i'm really happy about let's try and put the more beaming one on its own here and then we'll top it on top of the more natural one Oh my god, I barely dipped my brush in the, in the pan. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. That's just on its own. And I went... Boop. Literally went... Boop. I didn't even touch it. Okay, let's put it on the other one. Guys, I barely touched it. Everyone has been raving about Trophy Wife, but... I swatched it. It's very first of all, it's very sparkly. Whilst this one is not sparkly at all, it had it had a I would say bits of sparkle, like chunks of sparkle in it. I feel like I could wear that as an eyeshadow, but as a highlighter, I can't. It's quite like a yellow gold with a hint of lime in it, and I feel like I wouldn't wear that. I wouldn't wear that. I would. I'm not brave enough to wear it, but it does look really pretty, and it would be something that I would wear on my lids. But the pan is so big, like I won't even use it. So I just got something that I know I'm going to use every day. Okay, so guys, I love it. Do you know what? I love everything. I actually really love everything. 
I feel like my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing is the highlighter so far, and I actually really like the matchstick. Um, it looks really good. I feel like I need more powder because I can see these dents under my eyes, but overall it looks good. The real question is how is it going to last throughout the day and if the primer is making a difference and how the foundation is going to settle through throughout the day. I feel like if you have combination oily skin you will love it because it's definitely a matte finish and it looks flawless. Like if you want full coverage it's flawless. It's now 15.12. I'm going to try and wear this till 3am. Um, I'm really pleased though guys. I feel like Rihanna did come through with her products and I feel like time and effort went into it and a lot of thought and care you know and it just makes it all more worth it so so far i'm really 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 happy right guys so i probably will look like a mess it's now 3 27 a.m i'm dying guys what is this bump on my head um but to be honest guys i think it's just worth it like everything the waiting in the line for an hour and 10 minutes i have to add the 10 minutes in there um the journey, the price, I just feel like everything was worth it because at the end of the day, like, it looks pretty good. There's only one thing I have to mention though. I feel like because I have really, really, really dry skin, it has dried up in some areas. So for example, like here on my nose, it's not, it's just kind of gone like a desert because my nose is so dry and flaky. Um, it's only gone a tad bit in my smile lines, just a tad bit kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury foundation but again that happens with most foundations with me it's like I've had worse with other foundations this is not the worst I've had in it's actually quite minimal and then the second thing was for the matchstick um, I love the colour but I will put it on top of concealer and not so close to my lash line I would just put it here just to highlight because it does crease quite a bit so those are really the two things apart from that the foundation has stayed super even everywhere else it's fine it's not drying because I've made sure to hydrate my skin um, it is a bit shiny in some areas but I kind of like that as you guys know Everything has, like, the bronzer's applied perfectly. My pores look a bit smaller. You just feel confident in it. And when you feel confident in it, you know it's good makeup. I feel good in this foundation. I feel like it's even covered my hairs a bit. And also, no ashiness. My lipstick's off, I didn't even realise. But everywhere, look, my nose. Can you see that? Little bit dry. And my upper lip. And on the sides of my nose a little bit. And can you see the creasing on the concealer? Well, the matchstick's not really concealer. Has the primer helped? I feel like the primer helped to smooth this area a bit. I feel like it works really well with the foundation because everywhere else it looks absolutely flawless. It's just my nose and my mouth, which I kind of predicted from the beginning. My most favourite product is still the highlighter. It's still beaming 12 hours later. The highlighter is a 10 out of 10 for me. The matchstick is... A 9 out of 10 but it's still full coverage and it blends like a dream and it stays on uh, the primer 10 out of 10 I actually really 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 like the primer and it's 24 pounds that's like Mac prices and not too high-end or not too drugstore it's like in between and the foundation I really like it would I wear it again yes that's a real question would I wear it again and I would and the match is perfect oh and oh my god other thing I took a picture with this foundation and primer and my skin looks so smooth. So if you're going to take pictures, you know. And there's no flashback either. So this looks amazing in pictures. Like my, I'll post a, a picture on Instagram. I'll write my Instagram here somewhere. The foundation I'll probably rate a 9 out of 10. Because obviously it, gave, it made me a bit dry. For my skin tone, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. But nevertheless, it's got good coverage. It stays on. You feel great in it. It's It doesn't go extremely matte. And can we just praise the law for the 40 shades? Let's take a minute of silence. Okay, <laughs> I'm just so excited about the brand. I literally have been talking about it for the past week. And also, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have constantly been requesting this video. I've never had, this is the, by far my most requested video, like by far. And I thought like there was no need for me to do it because there's so many reviews online and I really don't like to do that. It's kind of like the subculture palette, like everyone was doing it and you just don't feel like doing it anymore. 
um, but you still wanted to see a video from me and that really really means the world to me so thank you so much for that guys um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up also don't forget to check out the vlog that I made yesterday when I went to go buy the products um, but yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you next time bye